pony, is he? Yes, sir, and I'd just like to say one more thing. The rest of you wimps come with me. Move it, move it, move it. Hey, Scott, hello to Canada. I hope you're having a great day. Cheers. I know you're gonna dig this. Thanks, Steve Gutenberg. That's right, the Goot. Or as I like to think of him now, he's a close personal friend. And as he probably thinks of me, that guy I gave a shout out to at a convention. Well, probably what he thinks of me now is offender one on the restraining order. Love you, love you, the Goot. Thanks, Steve Gutenberg, that was awesome. All right, so here I am in Toronto, my hometown. And I'm doing the filming locations for Police Academy. Why Police Academy? Well, it's a classic. It was made 75 years ago, directed by Cecil B. DeMille. It's right up there with Ben-Hur, The Ten Commandments. It's Police Academy. Come on. Now, I believe it's 1984. I could be wrong. But it doesn't matter. Police Academy, Steve Gutenberg, Kim Cattrall, the guy that does all the voices, Leslie Easterbrook, uh, the other guy, Tackleberry. Look, I'm wearing camouflage in uh, honor of Tackleberry. Here I am in a parking lot in, I don't know what part of Toronto this is. I grew up in, I, I worked just up this, I don't know what you call this. This isn't Lee side. This is lower Toronto, almost close to downtown. You'll probably see, see it. Yeah, you can see the tip of the CN Tower behind me, right there. Just the tip, that's what she said. Right there, you see it. That's not it, that big tower. It's, it's, it doesn't matter. Okay, so. I'm gonna take you to all the locations for Police Academy that are still around. Some are gone, most are still around. I'm gonna take you to all of them. And right here, I'm gonna start off by showing you now Leslie Barbara, the chubby guy that works in the photo booth. And his photo booth gets taken away by those mean guys. Not mean girls, mean guys. Oh, Gretchen, stop trying to make fetch a thing. Wrong movie. That was right here, right here. Would have been set up right here. And they come along in their pickup truck. And he's in his photo booth. Remember the photo booths? Right in this parking lot right here. And they load him up. They never show exactly how they get the photo booth on top, in, onto the back of the truck. But let's, you know, they show them tilting it and pushing it a bit. And then all of a sudden it's up there. Now you do see this building in the background. That's the big clue for me, and that used to be a good year. And it was a good year for a long time. And it was a good year that did a whole bunch of stuff like auto repairs. I thought Goodyear just did tires and made blimps. Apparently they do a lot of stuff, but it was Goodyear for a long time. So they go right along here and see, now you can't, there's a smokestack and you see it right there. You see that smokestack in the background. It's not that one, it's that one. And they drive off right down here. Now, what's cool about Toronto is everything, but also so many movies have been shot here. Like, so many. Everything you know, rethink everything you think you know about where movies were shot. If you ever think about that, like I do constantly. So many movies are shot in Toronto. I pass about 10 locations on the way here from different movies. Now, I'm gonna take you now to where they dumped his photo booth into the river. I'm gonna show you where that happened, which is right where they shot A Christmas Story. And also right up the street, right around the corner, right past these houses, that's where Pennywise's house, the interiors were shot for it, chapter one. And I guess two, I didn't see two yet, but right there. And that's on my channel. I've done like three or four it videos. So I'm not gonna go show you the house, but it's right there. I can put a link below. I, I don't think I should show you that house again. Watch the videos. Or that'd be a good primer and say, oh, well, what else he showed from it? Now I'm gonna go show you the bridge. Okay, let's go to the bridge where they dump the Photomax guy. Let's see Barbara. All right, that's it. That's all I'm gonna show you. That's the, that's the house from it. That's what they use for the interiors for Pennywise's house. I'm such a, I'm too nice.
So right here in front of me, this is the bridge that they threw him off of. This is a famous Cherry Street Bridge in Toronto. Now, from what I'm guessing, everything looks completely different down here. But right behind me down that road, that's where in Christmas Story, where the car breaks down. And I've done that, it's right down there. You can find the Christmas Story locations on my channel. I believe two videos about them. But that's where they filmed that scene. But we're here about Police Academy. And the guys dump him off and he floats away right from this bridge here. As you can see, it's a lot different. There's the Toronto skyline. I should mention right there, those two buildings, you see the Bank of Montreal building with the two uh, antenna on top? That's in the opening shot that takes place in any town USA, but anybody who knows Toronto knows that Bank of Montreal building. And um, what was I gonna say about, what the hell was I talking about? Oh yeah, Tackleberry's building was there and they filmed inside too, but I can't get inside the building today because it's a Sunday and also because of COVID and social distancing. But they would have dumped him on that side. And as you can see, the water always flows this way. This is Lake Ontario, part of Lake Ontario. The main lake, well, goes out into there. It goes right over here. And this is where he says, well, I'll show you, I'm joining the police force. Well, he yells it. Right there, floats away. Float, float away. And if you haven't seen the movie, basically the mayor of this town, whatever town is supposed to be, is anyone can join the police force. Regardless of gender, size, all that stuff, you can join the police force. So a bunch of misfits join the police force. And now I'm gonna show you where another misfit, the main misfit, was working. The Goo. My best friend, Steve Gooper, Officer Mahoney. Right now, I'm standing right where the parking lot used to be that Steve Goober worked in. Right here. And the gentleman's car, who he drives into the parking lot and he <laughs> goes by on two wheels and puts it in between two cars. That guy went to the same high school as me. His name is Don Lake. Years before me, obviously, I hope that's obvious, but you can see this in the background. That's Roy Thompson Hall. See that? You can see part of Honest Ed's building over there, which is just the white tip there, just the tip. But everything's changed. I mean, except for this building and that church, St. Andrew's Church. You can see that in the background as well. Lots of concerts, symphonies, all that sort of thing. Lots of christenings, baptisms, whatever, at St. Andrew's Church. I actually have my fourth marriage. My fourth wedding was there. Did not work out. Fourth time a charm? No, it's not true. Anyway, she sleep ran. She was, she would run in her sleep. So that had to end. But yeah, fourth wedding right there. Who's up for number five? Anyone? Anyone? If you're American, I'm free. I need that green card. All right, now let's go to another location from Plea Abuta. I don't know. Uh, uh, location. What? Stop. Ow. Okay, another location. I don't know what this is. Ah, it's not. It's not comfy. Another location for these uh, from Police Academy, where the mother does not want her daughter to join, but she wants to join. Played by Samantha from Sex in the City. Back when she was just known as the girl from Police Academy. All right, let's go. It follows you with its eyes, even though it doesn't have eyes. I almost forgot, before I get to Kim Cattrall, Fackler, the uh, nerdy klutzy one, his wife doesn't want him to join the police force, but he insists and he backs the station wagon out of the house and she chases him all the way down the street. And here's the house where he lived, right here. So walking towards the house right now, and there it is, right there with the smokestack. That was Fackler's house in the movie. 
and she would have come out of the, the station wagon, would have come right out of this driveway, and they go all the way up this street, up here, and then they switch to another street for the driving scenes. But that's the house right there. So now we're gonna go, I'm gonna show you where Kim Cattrall, Samantha, from Sex and the City, which is always on the E! Network when I'm traveling in the States. It's my go-to show from midnight till 3 a.m. in the hotel rooms. Yeah, I think, I think, I think I'm a carry. I don't know. Let's go. Okay, so Karen Thompson, played by Kim Cattrall, she wants to join the police academy. Her mother does not want her to. And they're driving along this road right here. Looks like they're on the highway. The highway, the QEW, the Queen Elizabeth Way, that's what it stands for. It's right past that big wall, privacy wall, I guess, for the people that live around here. So they're not disrupted by the traffic. But it's this road that they're traveling along. And it's very easy to tell that because of the South Service Road, South Service Road Bridge that's in the background. So Fackler, his wife would have been on the car right there, right on the other side. The highway is right there. I'm telling you it's right there. Can you hear it? I'm not lying to you. It's right on the other side. But yeah, you see that bridge in the background. So just to give you an indication, right now I'm in Mississauga, which is a city beside Toronto. Fackler's house. Stop it, truck. You're going to be loud. Security. Fackler's house is in Etobicoke which is between Toronto and Mississauga. Etobicoke spelled Etobicoke. Shut up! Spelled Etobicoke, but pronounced without the K. Canada. And Etobicoke is actually uh, like an administrative district, a municipality that was amalgamated into the city of Toronto in 1998, I believe. That's when the amalgamation happened. Bunch of, uh, so I'm in Mississauga, then that's Etobicoke, and then Toronto's that way. So... Etobicoke is like this weird place right in between. No offense, uh, you know Etobicoke, but seriously, make up your mind. Are you part of Toronto? Like you are part of Toronto, but you like to think of yourself as your own city. You're not. You're in Toronto. Etobicoke, you're part of Toronto. Mississauga, you're on your own. Why am I angry? Well, as you can see, I'm at the police academy and it's the same tree. Something like that really thrills me. But I guess, I mean, trees are like vampires, never grow old, never die, right? Sleep all day, party all night. It's fun to be a tree. Look, there's the police academy. Commandant Lassard's office right there. Barracks right there. Let's go a little closer. My feet. I'm getting a little tired. Okay, let's go. All right, so I did watch the movie last night. I was skimming through it, but I did watch it fully about three weeks ago when I had plans to come out here. And I'm finally here. And I'm just now trying to remember which was the barracks because this is definitely the main building on the property. Now it's getting windy. But when they're training, like the first time they all line up as cadets, was shot right here. Oh, and they did shoot inside. They used those windows. So Commandant Lassar's office was right there. But yeah, this is where they were all lined up. And you can tell that because of the building and not just those windows, but the circular part of the cement and the bricks. You see that in the background a lot. Well, they're all lined up right here. But I'm almost positive that, uh, now that I'm thinking about it, that it was this building that was used for the barracks. I'm trying to remember. 
here we go. This is the police academy from the Goonies. So this is part of uh, Humber College, which is a college here in Toronto. And it used to be all these grounds, all these older buildings with the Lakeshore Psychiatric Hospital. And the lake is right just past those buildings there, Lake Ontario. And yeah, but now it's a college. And so obviously closed down, there's no one here due to COVID. Excuse me. Do you know where we go to get our clothes? Yeah, you gotta go right over there. Here? Mm -hmm. Okay, thanks. Just go right in and tell them that Mahoney sent you. Got it. Be out here by three. All right, I'm burning daylight. Got more locations to show you, but I'm gonna do this fast and hard. That's what she's. And there's a police academy. Let's go. More locations. That's right, this is the road where Mahoney gives Hightower the driving lesson. And a lot of it's changed, a lot of the storefronts, but one that you can definitely see in the background is a famous store here in Toronto called TNT Surplus. It's like camping and supplies and all that sort of stuff. And you see that building in the background. There's a big Canadian flag now on the side of it, which I kind of like. Well, that's right. What am I kind of like? I really like it. Right here. Sorry about the sun, but yeah. You see that building right there. So all those driving lessons are up and down this street. This is Lakeshore Boulevard in Toronto. And of course, being in Canada and Toronto, a guy just came up to me with a big bag. The other bag he said, You buying weed? You looking to buy weed? I said, No. He said, You sure? Oh, okay, I thought maybe you were trying to buy weed. I said, No, I'm filming the street. But if you have fried chicken, I'll take it because I'm hungry. Now, the riot. Oh, the blue oyster, the gay bar from the movie. No longer. That was a silver dollar room. Also seen the exterior for the Blues Bar in Adventures of Babysitting. Watch my Adventures of Babysitting video. That is no longer there at all. They filmed the exterior and the interior. Ba -ba -da -ba -ba -ba. I think that's the, uh, the song that they played every time they went in there. That is no longer there. That's so depressing. I said that on my Adventures of Babysitting video. It's so depressing that that famous silver dollar bar is no longer there. It's a great place to hang out for everybody in Toronto. But it played the Blue Oyster in uh, Police Academy. So I'm not going there. And then the riot scenes start not too far from here, but I'm gonna take you to where the bulk of the riot was and then the ending scene now. I'm not gonna show you all of the riot scenes because there's so many little streets that they used, so many intersections, almost too many. But the bulk of it was shot in a place called Kensington Market. And if you're from Toronto, you know Kensington Market. Or if you just visit Toronto, you've been to Kensington Market. I used to tell tourists, if you come to Toronto, you gotta go to Kensington Market, but it don't go after midnight because of to be sketched. Now it's not so bad. I love Kensington, but yeah, my friend lived down there and after like a night time, you were down there for one reason only. No good. So yeah, this is famous Kensington Market. And like I said, it is a great place to visit. I highly recommend coming here, but it has a deserted feeling after, well, especially now during the pandemic but any time after dark or getting dark it just has a deserted feeling towards it but it's got really cool shops and i highly recommend coming here and if you live down here i'm not at south of the market i love kansas the market but come on a little anyway a lot of the riot scenes were filmed here most of it was filmed here and you see hightower i believe it's hightower walking with the tv right past a place called Global Cheese, and you see the Global Cheese sign. Now that sign's not there, but Global Cheese certainly is. So they're walking right along here. So when you see lots of shots, it's all shot here in Kensington. Like for instance, this shot facing this way, towards these two buildings. Looks a lot different, somewhat. But see that store right there? Yeah. 
that's where the vintage clothing store was, right there, where they were looting that store, where that longboard living is now. Right there. Where am I putting the clip? The clip's gonna be here. Wait, the clip should be here, okay? And right there, see, I'm looking, okay, now I'm looking at you. I'm looking at you, right there. And that scene where the police car crashes into the back of the van, right there. That's the building, right there. One final location coming up from Police Academy. The big scene, the big standoff. Let's go to that location right now. The sun is almost down, but I'm gonna make it. <sighs> gotta concentrate, get the clock a race, got no time to waste, I'm already late. I got a marathoner's pace. Eminem would have been 12 when this was filmed. Oh my goodness, this area has changed. I haven't been down in this area in a long time. Well, actually, I just was filming Adventures of Baby Scene, like two blocks over, but I didn't come into this little part. Good God. Oh, cars. So, stop. So, here I am. What the hell? I thought I was starting off a video. Okay, this is a lot. The final standoff was shot here. And one good thing, is that street sign, it's a different street sign, but it's a good tip off because the street sign appears in the movie, Hannah Avenue, downtown Toronto. And that building is shown a lot. Now they've taken apart part of it and added that part on, but that old building is seen a lot right there. So you can see the building would continue the cement wall down that way, hmm, interesting. But yeah, that's that old building there. Plane, where are you going to during all this? Why do you get to go somewhere? Yep, the ending standoff scene was shot right there. This is the toy factory lofts. Right there, up top. Now, not only can I not get up top, obviously, I can't even show you the skyline that you see from the, uh, in the background. You see so much of the Toronto skyline, but with all these new condos behind me, I can't even show you from the street here. But that's where it was filmed, up there. And if I was able to get up there, I'm sure I could show you exactly the spots. Oh, somebody's coming out. Maybe they'll have roof access. Ay. It was up there. It was up now. All right, I'm off to join the police academy. I've decided. I think I can do it. Although, not the Toronto police. I don't want to give out tickets. I want the real action. Off to join the LAPD. I wouldn't make it past the physical. Let's be honest. But I can try. I can try. 